want to welcome you today to Signs of the Time. This is Reverend David Douglas. Thank you for being with us today. If you would, please subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. You know, maybe give us a thumbs up. Our comments are open. We'd love to hear from you. Today, we're going to be talking about what I would kind of believe is kind of an unusual title for a study. Uh, but did you know that, that God even gave, as far as a, a number of days, uh, that that's going to be fulfilled as far as in the future? God showed the prophet Daniel way into the future. And I mean, it, it is amazing. But the title of this today is Countdown to the End of the Tribulation. Then what? Countdown to the End of the Tribulation. Then what? Today we're going to be coming to you from the book of Daniel chapter 12 and verse number 11. And verse number 12 said, And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Verse 12, Blessed is he that waiteth, and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. You know, I know the Bible said that, you know, that we don't know the hour in which the Lord's going to come. He told us to be ready. And we don't know. Nobody knows. And Jesus even said only the Father. He said the angels don't know, the Son don't know, but only the Father knows, you know, the hour that he's going to send his Son, Jesus Christ, back to planet Earth. But in the book of Daniel, it is talking about these number of days. And, you know, you may wonder, what are these days talking about? You know, the time that the daily sacrifice is taken away and the abomination of desolation is set up, this is actually the midpoint of the tribulation. Jesus even spoke about and said, when you shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel standing in the holy place. Whosoever readeth, let him understand. Then flee to the mountains. This is at the midpoint or at the middle of the tribulation. And I believe Daniel 9.27 tells us that even the Antichrist will confirm a covenant with many for one week. That one week represents seven years. Then it said in the middle or the midst of the week, or otherwise the middle of the week, he, otherwise the Antichrist, will stop the sacrifices and oblation. This is what I've really just got through teaching on not long back, and it was entitled, The Last, get this, Three and a Half Years, of the tribulation. The entire time frame of the tribulation is seven years, according to Daniel 9 and 27. But thinking about that last three and a half years, the Bible places a lot of emphasis on this period of time. Let me kind of go back and refresh your memory. Daniel 9, 25 said this, that it would be given into the hands of the Antichrist. Otherwise, the Antichrist would receive, you know, his power and authority from none other than Satan himself. And it would be given into the hands of the Antichrist time, times, and the dividing of times. Time is actually one year. Times is two years. And the dividing of times is a half. You add all of that up, and it's three and a half years. Revelation 11 and 2 said, The Gentiles shall tread the holy city 42 months. That three and a half years. Revelation 11 and 3 says, The two witnesses will prophesy 1260 days clothed in sackcloth. Otherwise, they will prophesy three and a half years. 
Revelation 12, 6 said the woman who is Israel here would be fed, get this, it numbers the days here, 1,260 days. Revelation 12, 14, the same chapter here said the woman, and like I said, it's talking about Israel, would be nourished time, here we go again, time, times, and half a time. Otherwise, as I explained, three and a half years. Revelation 13 and 5 said the Antichrist was given power to continue 42 months. And that's what I believe even Daniel 7 and 25 was explaining. But he would be given that power and that throne of Satan here on earth said to continue 42 months. And this is none other, like I said, but the last three and a half years that the Lord is putting emphasis on. Because it's going to be a terrible time. And even Jesus said, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel, he said at that moment, said it would be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, nor will ever be again. So as you see, the last three and a half years of the tribulation will, will be like I said, the last three and a half years, 42 months, and it even give the number of days, 1,260 days. And this is according to the lunar cal calendar. Each month during the lunar calendar is 30 days. So get this, from when the Antichrist goes into the temple at the midpoint of the tribulation, and yes, there will be a third temple during the tribulation. Revelation 11 and verse 1 says it. And then uh, Paul talks about it in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 that the man of sin, the son of perdition, who is none other than the Antichrist, will go into the temple and set up himself and declare that he is God. So, when the Antichrist goes in at the midpoint of the tribulation, then there is only 1,260 days left in the tribulation period. The period will actually end, this time frame, the tribulation will actually end at the battle of Armageddon. And you'll find that in Revelation 19. That's when the Antichrist and the armies that follow him are defeated by Christ and his armies from heaven. And then at that moment, the Antichrist and the false prophet is cast alive into the lake of fire. But this is not the end of the world because really right after the tribulation, Christ will set up his millennial reign here on earth. When you look at Revelation 19, that's when Christ comes back riding on a white horse, having his vesture dipped in blood, and the armies of heaven are following him, and he defeats as far as, you know, the Antichrist. Then we look in chapter 20, and Satan is bound for a thousand years, and then Christ rules on earth, and we also rule and reign with him for one thousand years here on earth. But yet there is something that is going to take place even before that happens. At the end of the tribulation, you know, the Bible says that Christ will stand on the Mount of Olives. You'll find this in Zechariah chapter 14. And there is a moment there when the Mount of Olives cleaves, the Bible said, in the midst thereof towards the east and towards the west, forming a great valley and half the mountain shall be removed towards the north and the other towards the south. Then at some point, Christ will come down the Mount of Olives, cross over the Kidron Valley. The Bible even called that the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And he'll walk through that sealed eastern gate according to Ezekiel 43 verses 1 through 3. But when we look at it according to Daniel from the time that the daily sacrifice is taken away 
and the abomination that is make that make it desolate is set up, there will only be one thousand two hundred and ninety days. You'll say, "Well, there's an extra thirty days." You're right, because the Bible said the Antichrist will, you know, will be given that power and that authority only one thousand two hundred and sixty days. But Daniel is saying here that there's one thousand two hundred and ninety days. There is an extra thirty days. So, which is actually left as far as 1260 days is, is only left for the last three and a half years of the tribulation. Then you got that 30 day period. You know, and I know the world may not actually know when the Antichrist goes into the temple. And I know you might say, well, Brother David, you're trying to uh, uh, actually predict the very day that the Lord comes back. I don't know the day. I just got through quoting to you. Nobody knows, you know, the hour that Jesus is going to come back. But yet, you know, we will know the exact time that the Antichrist goes into the temple, defiles it, desolates it, so to speak. There's desolation, and they set up that idol, and he sits in there and declares himself to be God. From that moment, that very day, there's only 1,260 days to the end of the tribulation period. So you say, what is that extra 30 days? I'm glad you asked. You know, I know the Bible really don't say here, but you know, looking back, and this is in history, and Daniel prophesied about it, even though he didn't mention this man's name, but Antiochus Epiphanes went into the temple and defiled it. Then we know, according to history, there was that Maccabean revolt uh, that took place, and the, the, the Maccabees, the Jewish people, took back Jerusalem and the temple. But the temple had to be cleansed before temple worship could be started. Uh, so I wonder if those extra 30 days that Daniel is talking about, that 1,290 days, I wonder if that extra 30 days is for the temple to be cleansed. Because the Antichrist is the one that went in and he defiled that temple. He set up uh, an idol him and the false prophet did for people to worship. You know, Antiochus Epiphanes, you know, he went in, the Bible even said, and sacrificed a pig and then strung all the blood all over and through the temple and set up a god to worship called Zeus. So, I believe that, that that last 30 days could be that the temple needs to be cleansed. Otherwise, to get ready to prepare the way for Christ to come and rule and reign uh, here on earth, there in Jerusalem and in the temple. I believe Christ will set up a throne in the holy place, the holy of holies, which will be on the temple mount. But Daniel talks about another number of days in Daniel 12, 12. And he said this in Daniel 12, 12, Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days, otherwise one thousand three hundred and thirty-five days. So Daniel is saying, start counting when the Antichrist goes into the temple and defiles it. Now he's telling them to count 1,335 days. So once the tribulation is completed at the 1,260 days, now Daniel is talking about an extra 75 days. What is this talking about? And again, I, I know the Bible, you know, it, it is not really clear. It does not mention exactly but let's just see if there's anywhere else in the Bible that we can find out something that lines up with this because Scripture interprets Scripture. So let's read it again. He said, Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days, otherwise one thousand three hundred and thirty-five days. Most Bible scholars will say, and I, I really agree with this, it is when Christ judges the nations 
And you can find this in Matthew 25 and 34. This is the sheep nations and the goat nations. Matthew 25 and 34, you can find it where he says to the sheep on his right hand, listen to this real close. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And those on his left hand, <coughs> he will say, Depart from me, ye cursed in the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. So, recapping on this, looking back, so the 1,290 days fits in to the 1,260 days after the abomination of desolation is set up, then you got that 30-day period in which Christ, I believe, sets up his kingdom here on this earth right after, like I said, that 1,290 days from the point that the Antichrist enters into the temple, 1,290 days, I believe Christ will set up his millennial reign here on this earth. The temple will be cleansed, I believe, during that 30-day period. Christ will set up his 1,000-year millennial reign right here on earth. Then, Let's look at it again. The 1,335 days. This is an extra 75 days after the tribulation ends. This will be, I believe, when Christ judges the nations. The sheep nations and the goat nations. And I believe that this will show the people during that time. Not the time that Christ returned but they can be counting down the days, 1,290 days. Then they could be counting from the time that the Antichrist, 1,335 days. They can be counting down the days when the tribulation ends. Christ will be come back riding on a white horse and wins. He's triumphant at the battle of Armageddon and he sets up his earthly reign. The countdown, again, it will start when the Antichrist goes into the temple, takes away the daily sacrifice, and sets up the abomination of desolation. From that time, they could start counting 1,290 days, and Christ will set up his reign on earth. From that time, they could count 1,335 days, and Christ will judge the sheep nations, and the goat nations. As we have studied, and maybe you have too, the book of Daniel, his prophecies are so accurate. People has even said that, that someone cl was claiming to be Daniel and wrote a lot of these prophecies after the fact. But Jesus, you know, I go with what Jesus said, not, not by the opinions of people, but by what God's word said, by what Jesus said. But Jesus called Daniel the prophet in Daniel 24 and 15. So Daniel was a prophet. And his prophecies, I mean, they were accurate. God sent the angel Gabriel to show Daniel the future. And these prophecies will come to pass. Numbers 23 and 19. I mean, they will come to pass to the exact day. Look at Daniel chapter 9. The 490 years that has been, you know, uh, uh, for Israel. God has placed it out there for Israel. 483 years of those years have already come to pass. And folk, it, those 483 years came, came to pass to the exact day that Christ came riding in to Jerusalem. And they were confessing him as the Messiah. When he made his triumphant entry into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, 
those 483 years came to pass on the exact day. So what's going to change? I believe this right here that I just brought out in this message will come to pass, I believe, to the exact day. Not, not knowing the exact day or hour that Christ will come back, but counting down the days that the tribulation will end. And then that 30-day period, that, that's then what? And then that 75-day period. You know, Numbers 23 and 19, and I'm going to close with this, said this about God. Said, hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, shall he not make it good? Thank you for being with us today. I hope this has been a blessing. And if this has been a blessing to you, like I said again, give us a thumbs up. And I, I want to thank you, each and every one of you that's already subscribed to our YouTube channel. This is helping us share these videos, you know, with, with others. Tell others about it. Uh, like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. That there is no charge. Like I said, our comments are open. And remember what I've, I've closed out a lot of these videos. And I, I have called this channel Signs of the Time. It's the signs of Christ's coming. The signs that are coming to pass. And you know what Jesus said? And I closed out a lot of these. He said, when you see these things come to pass, when you see the signs come to pass, he said, lift up your head for your redemption draw it nigh. God bless you. And again, if you don't know Jesus as your Savior, I cannot actually leave this today without inviting you to come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. If you don't know him, invite him to come into your heart, ask him to forgive you of your sins and for your iniquity. He said, Lord, I want to be ready. I know the rapture is soon to take place. The trumpet could sound almost at any time and say, Lord, I want to be ready. I want to be saved when that time comes. For I want to go in the rapture. I don't want to have to go through that tribulation period. I don't want to be one of those that is counting down 1,290 days. Lord, I don't want to be one of those that is counting down that 1,335 days. I just want to be ready when Jesus splits the eastern clouds of glory and, and raptures his church out of here. As always, God bless you as my prayer. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.